Do you remember this contractor? Neil Melendrez arrested last week on felony charges of theft for not finishing work he was paid to do. Since that story, viewers have been weighing in, many emailing us, saying they too have dealt with similar issues, but their cases were never taken seriously. The night team's John Paul Baraja sat down with SAPD to try to explain why a bad contractor could be a criminal or a civil issue. I'm sorry, uh, the weather, my truck broke down. Um, you know, his, he doesn't have his guides. Or I would have to use like my work number or another person's cell phone. And he would answer accidentally, you know, and then he would brush me. I'll say, oh, no, 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 you're on the schedule now. The runaround. That's what both of these men have dealt with while waiting on a contractor to finish a higher job. See, it flexes way too much. And especially you can start seeing water. For Arturo Herrera, the work was done, but not to his liking. And for Raymond Barbosa. They didn't even do the job. They didn't. They took the money and pretty much ran. This contractor's arrest on charges of theft has them asking, why aren't more contractors held accountable for incomplete work? San Antonio Police Sergeant Washington Moscoso explains. It's tricky um, because the majority of cases where something like this happens, is going to be a civil matter. When, anytime you enter into contract with someone, it starts out as a civil matter. For a dispute to be pursued as a criminal case, police say the biggest element needed is being able to prove intent. In last week's arrest, the victims did multiple things right. First, they had lots of documentation of phone calls, text messages, and emails, and the lack of response from the suspect. Then they both also sent what is called a demand letter to the suspect through certified mail, formally requesting response. And on top of that, they had multiple victims complaining about the same suspect. It's a lot. Because um, how do they say, you know, it's not what you say, it's what you can prove. But how difficult is it to prove intent. It's extremely difficult. Um, that's why the majority of these cases don't rise to the level of a criminal act. John Paul Barajas, KSET 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSET.